Another COVID-19 death linked to the Yukio Okutsu Veterans State Home in Hilo. Since Saturday, six residents have died. While the facility is taking measures to contain the spread, those who have loved ones at the home are worried. Max Rodriguez has more in a story that's new at 10. As of tonight, a total of 47 residents at the veteran's home have tested positive for COVID-19. I spoke with a man who says his mother is one of them. Contact tracing found it's likely an employee with no symptoms who carried the virus into the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. The first cases were announced just last week. I was hoping and praying that it never would go into, the, into there, and it did. Nobriga says he was told his mother Cecilia tested positive. She and the other 40 residents who are positive are now being cared for on a single floor of the facility. There's three wings on that floor and all of those are occupied by um, COVID positive residents. Some are in private rooms, some are in in double rooms. Staff for this floor does not intermingle with other units in efforts to contain the virus. Workers are putting in longer hours to fill in for those out sick. So far, 18 workers have tested positive. Follow-up testing is now happening every three days. This is just really an unfortunate, heartbreaking situation. And um, we're so sorry, you know, to see this happening. Uh, but, but, you know, rest assured that we have staff that are so dedicated to you know, doing everything in their power to protect our residents. However, family members like Nobriga worry about the virus's unpredictable nature. It's been months since he's been able to see her in person. They keep telling me that her oxygen level is good, her breathing is good, her appetite is good. But, you know, to me, is how good is good. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.